All right, we're back with a different video here. We're gonna um, coat this cabinet. Um, this is the cabinet that we just did a video on and we showed you how to, how to make that, oops. So um, this is the inner structure of this cabinet. And this will be a kit that we're gonna offer. Um, and it'll be pretty inexpensive kit. Uh, because it is particle board and particle board is much cheaper than MDF, but it works good. It's solid. Um, you'll get two different faces that you can choose from. One's a little bit bigger, so it'll fit more of a, like an Altamex. I think that's what they call it from parts express. It's got a, it's got a bigger ring to it. You'll be able to choose which front baffle you want in this double front baffle. Um, so we're going to, we're going to show you how to use our. Our body filler that we use, um, we got a pan here from like the dollar store. I think I got it, like three bucks. Use spatula. We got a little bit of water, and we got a little bit of of a tight bond too. And that's what we'll use to do all of our body work, and then we're going to coat it in our total coat uh, cabinet coating. That's basically what this is. That's a cabinet coating, a little dusty, a little dirty, but um, it's just a nice textured finish. It dries really fast. This is a really great cabinet coating. I do all my 18 inch cabinets in them and I've done probably almost four cases of that stuff already in the last six months. Some of those, but I think we're gonna get started. Uh, we'll show you how to mix up body body filler and uh, apply it. We can put a little bit more a little bit more water in it, and we can use a brush and just brush it on, and it goes on great. Let it dry for about an hour, hour and a half, and you can just come back, sand it, and then you're done. I don't know if we're gonna if we're gonna primer this before. It just depends. I don't know. I think it's just gonna sit in the shop here and be kind of a backup subwoofer for a lot of the bookshelf speakers that I build that don't quite hit very, you know, don't get into the 30s or anything where this will, a good subwoofer in here will get down in the 30s, especially sealed. So, well, let's get to mixing some of this. Um, don't really have a recipe, directions or anything. You kind of just got to play a little bit. We're going to do the first batch with the spatula. I just got a little bit in there. We're going to put a little bit of glue in there. And this glue helps for adhesion. That's what the glue is for. The glue is only for adhesion. And this has a little bit of water in it, so it comes out of the bottle a little nicer. We didn't sand any of this, so we want to be able to adhere to it because if we don't sand it and we put uh, our filler on and we don't have any glue in there it will just blow right off when you go to blow it off before you paint it and the reason i like to use this is because it keeps it all in there and uh it's easy to clean just don't use a piece of scotch bread or anything to clean it because then you will scuff it and then that stuff will start to stick to it okay so now it's kind of pasty, kind of like frosting. See? Okay. Got to clean our spatula up a little bit here. I usually start by the end grains. And you always want to go both ways. Lay it in and then pull it off so you get them air bubbles out of there. I'm going to come and do this side since we've got plenty here. See? And then I scrape up. You don't want to scrape it all off. Yeah. Then we'll come back and we'll do this side and the back or something with the uh, brush. We'll show you how that goes on. And I got a brush here, a used brush. It's just waterborne. So we're going to add some water. 
All right, getting there. So this is going to be a little more sloppy, almost kind of like pudding. Just set that there. And we're going to show you this. So you can just brush it on. You always want to go both ways with it so it gets into the pores of that wood. And these are, this is how I do most of the 18 boxes. I get a big brush and just make a huge pan of this and go to town. It uh, goes really fast. And so, yep, make sure you get it in there. Yep, and it'll sand right off. You can already see this is drying. See how it turns a little more white from the gray? It's really starting to dry. So, yeah, you could put a fan on it and you'd be drying a good hour. All right, we've uh, washed the pan out, washed our brush, washed the spreader, water, and it's only been, I don't know, probably five minutes, I suppose. And we got some, it's drying pretty good. Where's the other stuff over here? Yeah, so yeah, you can see it's drying nice. So yeah, it'll be about around an hour. I usually put a fan on all my projects anyway because water-based stuff, you, you need air movement across it, not heat. It needs to have air movement so it pulls the moisture out of it. Well, I got busy and it's been a couple hours um, and it looks pretty dry. We'll find out when we sand it. Um, I'm going to use an orbital sander with some 220 on it. No soft pad, no nothing. And if I'm going to hand sand, I use a 120 and I get it basically pretty close. And then I come back with 220 and, and smooth it out. Um, you could just do it all with 120, but you just don't want to you know, start rounding edges or anything on your wood. So we're going to do some sanding here and we'll come back. So. Well, I'll do my, I'll do the rest of the sides, basically the same way we just did all these. Got a couple holes up here to fill. Yep, and we got the back to do, and we got uh, this one side. So I'll do that off camera, and then we'll come back and. Well, we've uh, finished with our body work. We got a few little holes, but we'll show you how to get those with. The, we had to put the terminal cup in it because I forgot about it. Uh, we're going to show you how to put some, some coating on it. We're going to use the black. Let's get a little shit. It's, this is a used one. I've been uh, in and out of it here. So. One. There. Got some paper towels. But I don't. I just use a little paper plate. Got that coating on it. Um, this roller I have had around for a few weeks now, I think. I can't even remember when I used it last. But I think it's fine. Yep. I think it'll work fine. And we use a pretty good napped roller. So we can get in anywhere that we want to. Get out of there. I turn our cabinet. And we'll come back. We lightly just sand it so we can see what we are looking at. And then we come back and put another coat on it. And then we're done. And then I'm going to just go one way with my roller. That way it kind of doesn't leave a bunch of lines in it. Yeah, it will show you quickly how to get in those spots. Go 
Let's take a brush and get in there. And we'll do the same around the up front too. Let me just take my roller and go back around it. Once we put the thermal cup in there, you ain't going to see that it was brushed. This cabinet coating is very durable. It can take a beating and not scratch or anything. Be great for road coating on pro audio boxes. Now we just got the top left to do here, and you can just pour it right out of here and onto the surface and roll it around. That's what I do like about those jugs. They don't make a mess. You ain't got messy cans to deal with. You just screw the lid right back on and you're done. So I just got done with the top. We're gonna turn this around. This should have been the first side that we did. Use just a little bit of residue on my hands. But otherwise it's it's getting dry already. And we ain't even got a fan on it yet. We'll come back, we'll do a second coat. We'll let it dry for about an hour. We'll put a fan on it, just a little guy, just to get some air flowing across it. It'll dry it quicker. Well, it's been about hmm, probably an hour and a half. Uh, we're just going to come back, lightly sand it with a little 120 grit on a soft pad. This is just a interface pad for a DA. But, and then we are also filled in just a few little, little holes that we had that we must have missed. But... Once we kind of just scuff it, and you'll see that this stuff doesn't stand very well. It doesn't stand very great. So we're just kind of knocking it down just so we can see any little imperfections, and then we'll, then we'll recoat it. All right, we blew it off. Um, I don't see anything that we need to address by any means. So we're just going to start to coat it. Uh, I use the same total coat. I just put a little bit of water in it. So it, um, it rolls a little nicer. Won't have quite the texture. So, and then I'm using a, a different roller too. So and this roller doesn't seem to want to, uh, fit my plate very well. So. Yeah, so we'll just roll this like we did the first time. Once we get it coated nice, we come back and go one direction and all right, we'll just, um, yeah, we're going to let it dry. We'll come back and look at it. It's been uh, probably about two hours since we painted it. Um, flipped it upside down. We're just going to coat the bottom so everything's all done. And then uh, that way we can put our feet on. We'll just put some on there. We're going to spread it around, let it dry. We got our four holes for our feet. There. So that's the bottom. It's going to let it dry a little while. And we'll put the feet on it. Load it and we're done. Total coat.